Hello and welcome to another episode of Lost Gotham TV. This week we are going to be reviewing Richard Lehman's Night Show. This is the original um, edition of it. Uh, I spoke in one of the earlier videos about uh, Definitive Edition, which is behind me right here. Um, I haven't had a chance yet to read the Definitive Edition. Um, but, but I will do. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'll read that last or if I'll try to read that soon so that, um, the original edition of it is still fresh in my brain. So, yeah, Night Show. This is a book that I almost largely forgot about. You know, I, I read it once when I first got it and... You know, it's for for me. It's in the middle of his books. It's not not the best, not the worst. Uh, I find it particularly interesting because, uh, as well as wanting to to write myself, uh, like the main thing that as a kid, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make movies. You know, I mean, uh, I grew up in the eighties, going into the nineties with some amazing movies you know we we had the star wars movies um the star trek movies uh, superman these amazing special effects driven movies and then you know obviously when i was younger i don't know so sometime in my adolescence i got kind of turned on to horror movies uh you know lost boys obviously but i mean the the friday the 13th movies Definitely, I'm a big um, Jason Voorhees fan. So, um, yeah, at some point, you know, just the the dead bodies and things like that. I, I wanted to learn how to do that. And actually, over here, this shelf is almost exclusively uh, DVDs and things that I've collected on doing special effects and that's in addition to books i have another shelf that has books on special effects makeup and and props and and costumes and all kinds of different things um and so why am i mentioning all of this well that's because night show is based in hollywood in the special effects industry so when i reread this recently i was really surprised the, basically, the, the book, I guess, was so non-memorable that I completely forgot about it. And it surprised me because of the fact that it, it, it's based in Hollywood and around filmmaking and stuff. And uh, so I'm a little surprised. And rereading it again, um, I guess I can see why. It, it doesn't have the strongest of plots. Uh, compared to some of his other works. But it's still a solid read. I enjoyed it. If you like horror films and stuff, you know, it mentions a couple of uh, people like Tom Savini and uh, other special effects uh, makeup artists like Dick Smith and people like that. And so it was kind of fun for for that regard. And... Uh, I like some of the mechanics, but but yeah, I mean, overall, not the strongest of his books. But that being said, I still went out and, and purchased the definitive edition because I, I am curious to see what differences there are between this, this regular edition that was published in, uh, let me see here. So it was first published in 1984. This is a 1988 edition. And yeah, so I'm curious what the comparison is going to be to the definitive edition. Uh, I know that there's some handwritten stuff in, in the definitive edition, but I'm not sure if the, the edit changed at all. Is there more content? Is there something that was stripped out or, you know, what and, and put back? I'm, I'm very curious about that. So it's up to you the uh, the definitive edition you know if if you don't already own a copy of this book and you wanted to get one 
maybe go with a definitive edition. I'll let you know about that very soon when I when I do get to reading that. Maybe, maybe I'll read that next. Maybe that will be the, the next review. We'll see. But um, even if you can only find an older edition of it, I, I recommend it. It's, it's entertaining. Not his best, not his worst. It, it's solidly in the middle there. Um, yeah, I don't really want to talk too many too too much about spoilers. You know, I I kind of I've given you a setting for it, and basically it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you a little bit more. It, it follows a female special effects artist, which is a little unusual, but that kind of plays into the story because she is a female, and many of the famous special effects artists, at least, are male. Uh, you know, Rick Baker, Tom Savini, uh, people like that. Greg Nicotero, you know, lots of people like that. They are males. You know, there's there's very few um, female artists who are known outside of the industry. And so the fact that she is a female and she is very popular in this fictional universe makes her the target of a, a crazy person, for, for want of a better word. Uh, so she, she has like a little bit of a stalker and that that's kind of like the main impetus of the the story um there there's some sex in this but not too much you know it's kind of low maybe on the sex meter um comparatively anyway so yeah i mean there there's some gore and stuff but it's uh, a lot of it is um i don't know maybe i shouldn't talk about that too much there's because it's the movie industry there's some fake gore and there's some real gore and where those lines are there's some blurring uh but yeah uh i remember there being a couple of issues in particular that stood out to me but i won't talk about them now i want to see whether or not they get fixed in the definitive edition before i talk about those but uh no overall entertaining book uh worth reading yeah night show layman Okay, I think I'm done. I'm sure you're done. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know. And until then, I'll see you next time.